It's the second pace in classic heat. Four-star Shark catches an easier field, although Life Source is in career form. Gallo Blue Chip and Mini Me will both need to pick it up a notch to be competitive. And they're off, and the favorite four-star Shark guns out there. Life Source from the outside. Camp Cracker, Mini Me with early speed on the rail. As they around the first turn, Mini Me cuts the corner with the Miller there. Four star Shark looking for the lead. As the Catman guns Life Source up on the outside, Cam Cracker towards the rail settles in fourth. Gallup Blue Chip wrestled back in fifth. He's under a snug hold there as they end of the quarter. Hollywood Sam is sixth. Then it's Image of Don followed by Dr. Drew at the back. And here comes the Catman with Life Source off a quarter of 27 3. Life Source will give four star Shark a pocket down the back stretch as Life Source is still trying to clear and does. So Four Star Shark is second, and Mini Me is third up the back stretch. Cam Cracker is fourth heading towards the half mile. A quick retake here. Four Star Shark back to the top. Gallup Blue Chip is still under a snug hold in the fifth spot, looking anxious there to tip out, followed by Hollywood Sam and Image of Don up the rail. Dr. Drew at the half mile. Four Star Shark back in control off a half of 54 and three-fifths. Into the far turn, four star shark at three to five. Life source right there, second. First over, Cam Cracker goes on the attack, and that'll take Gallo Blue Chip into it from second over. He's working out a golden trip there with Mini Me back in fifth, now locked in. Up third over is Hollywood Sam. Jammed in on the rail is Dr. Drew, and with excess cover from the back is Image of Don. Four star shark took the by three quarters and one, 22 and four. He's well rated here. Four star shark looking to sprint away. And does. Four star shark turning it on here under LeChance urging on the inside life source. First over was Cam Cracker and then it's Mini Me and it's four star shark. The shark takes a bite out of the track here and he'll win again. Four star shark wrapped up in one. How good is this six-year-old? When a horse comes off the bench to post a 25 and four final quarter at 150 and three, you get the feeling you might be able to go a tad faster next time. Well, last year's Houghton champion went fast enough this time to slice two fifths of a second off his lifetime mark, Mike Lachance, with a driving triple tonight. And with the success the four-star stable is having this year, trainer Dave Sabatelli has to be pinching himself. Dave, you took over the training of Four Star Shark. What was the first thing you thought of when you saw him, and did you make any changes in him? No, just don't screw him up. I was just giving him the babysit for a year. He was a great, not a, I shouldn't say a great horse, he was a real top horse the last couple of years. Now he's come firing out of the box. Uh, are you surprised at his early success? A little bit. He never, uh, last year he went his first start in 49 in a piece, so I knew he could be good early. Uh, this good early, I was a little surprised. What kind of, what kind of training horse is he? What kind of horse has he been around? Uh, he's great to be around training. He's not the greatest trainer in the world. Uh, I never really was impressed with him until I got around 210. And then he started to act like a horse. Four Stars King was pretty impressive tonight, too. Yeah, that's my boy. You've been around some top horses before. Run the table in the 80s, some other ones. Where does this guy rank? Shark? Uh, he's better than those horses. Is he the horse to beat right now in the free-for-all division? I'm not going to jinx myself. Uh, he's real good right now. He, you know, he's to be contended with.